Beautiful. This is it. Right. You ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is um new. Uh new vlog. <laughs> new house. I am in my new office. Uh, in our new place. Um, we'll, I will get on more to that. I'm a few vlogs behind and I would rather upload them in chronological order so it doesn't confuse you watching but also confuse me. But I filmed this quite a while ago but I had to check, get it checked first to make sure there was nothing on there because I went to a doctor's or I, I went to a, you'll see where I went anyway, but I went to a place where you've got to be careful with what you film and things that you have in videos, so um, I had to make sure that was all okay. But anyway, I'll just start the vlog and it will explain more in the vlog. Good morning. Today is a Wednesday. Um, it's usually a day that I go into the office to work on Final Straw Productions. Um, still, I'm gonna do that, but I'm doing that today from a very different location. I'm going to get my brain scanned. I will explain more about it when I get there, but first of all, don't panic. It's not anything that I'm worried about. So a while ago, um, I met this girl called Emma, who's doing a study on the brain patterns or the brain and entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship, which I mean, I don't know why they need me because I don't even think entrepreneurship is even a word. I think I've just made that up. So they want to use me for their study and I said yes. because I thought, hey, this is good. I've never been in an MRI before. I've never experienced it. Um, I quite like to. I'm not convinced to myself that I'm the most entrepreneurial person going by far. But there's something about me being able to take opportunities when they arise and knowing when to take a chance and, and do things and work with a team and stuff. So there's parts of my brain that are, uh, and I'm convinced there's parts of my brain that aren't, but today I'm gonna to get a bit more insight into that and find out exactly what this thing's all about. Yeah, if you wanna, we can just give you a go of what it feels like. <laughs> You're gonna come out the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you pop your head here. I feel like I'm an astronaut. Yeah, I can see can my feet. See, yeah? Yeah, I can see my feet. Can see that? Yeah. Um, and essentially when you're in there, they'll just kind of adjust the mirror about so that yeah. you can see the screen. Push you in. <laughs> Hello. And then... <laughs> I don't want a really dodgy Disney ride. <laughs> <laughs> can you see me? I can yeah. see you, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, so yeah, you probably wouldn't go much further. In oh, that's fine. Because worst case, I could go like that and just pull myself <laughs> yeah. out. I'm about to uh, box it match. It's way in. In the red corner. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, every couple of minutes we'll speak to you yeah. between the different scans. Okay. Yeah, these really, really loud noises. Yeah. Just the coils in the machine, like, making a big vibration. Yeah. Um, that's just normal. Okay. And we'll yeah. give you hearing protection and yeah. talk to you. Yeah. Great. All right. Beautiful. This is it. Great. You ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't ever right before. No, right? never. No. Oh, no. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Speak to you again in 30 seconds, okay? Okay. So this noise is basically the, um, all the, the way this machine works, it's a massive magnetic field in the room, and um, this, this one here is his localizer scan, which is like the very first images we use of his brain to plan the next sequences. So the thing with MRI is everything takes a lot longer than, say, an X-ray. We're not using any radiation. We're not using, uh, we're just using a massive magnetic field in the room and radio frequency pulse which basically we're measuring the protons, magnetic fields um, in different tissues and how they react to a rate of frequency pulse. This is his respiratory rate. We've got like bellows around his diaphragm measuring uh, his breathing. And um, this is another physiology panel which is showing his pulse, pulse rate. If you've got one resting on his finger as well. Um, most MRI scans, you don't need this stuff. It's just for um, the research that uh, Emily's doing basically. Some people have a hundred as their resting one, but his is He's probably a little bit anxious because he's never done this before and he's in a strange environment, so it's probably slightly higher than normal. But it's much, much louder in the room. It's like this. Louder than that. So there's no chance of him falling asleep? Uh, well, some people do, <laughs> some people do, but yeah. yeah some people but, uh, not but look, many, not it's, actually, it's actually chilling him out. Right, Joe, how's that working? The mouse is all right for you? Yeah, mouse is all right. Perfect. So what we'll do, mate, is we'll, um, we'll start the proper scan up now. So it's going to be 16 minutes. Um, quite loud again. You've been doing really, really well. 
Um, so yeah, try and keep your head really still for us. <laughs> can and I just, can you please keep the mouse? Oh yeah, keep the mouse still for us, mate, because we're sharing that mouse with you when we um, start the program up, okay? So this one gets progressively harder. So it starts with kind of two, and then it kind of goes up one. And you tend to find that people have a, um, like a limit in their working memory that they can store mm. like a sequence of shapes or in the next one numbers in. Is he done? It's all yeah. done, yeah. All finished, yeah. A good <laughs> hour and a uh, half scanning. Welcome back. Thank you. You're right. Yeah. You did really good, good actually. Good. You stay beautifully still. Take me to Mars and back. <laughs> On the scan, because it goes yeah. through in layers, you can see when your eyes come up and then your eyes go. Oh, yeah. How are my eyes? They're good. Okay. Yeah, you got two. Yeah, good, good. I, I noticed I kept tensing up as I was going through, and afterwards I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, I'm relaxed now. Yes. It's a bit sort of yeah. tense at moments. No, you did great. You did really yeah. well, actually. How's my brain look? It's looking good. It's got a giant cross in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. wow. So this is going from the bottom of the face of the skull, so it's um, yeah. coming up. The orbits and the optic nerves coming in. Yeah. Well, they're bigger on the right than the left. Oh, it's just the it? angle of your head. Oh, I see. Yeah. It. So we're going up to the top of the brain. Yeah. Oh my word. Yes, yeah, it did very well. That is so surreal. Seeing that's what makes everything happen. God, I've got it. my brain's way bigger than I thought it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot larger than I thought it'd be. Well, so you've got a lettuce leaf in there, haven't you? Yeah. What's that? What is that lettuce leaf? That's the cerebellum. That little one there. Tell you what, that is. It's quite surreal seeing like your own brain, <laughs> like that. It's very special. Right. No, thank you so much. No worries, thank really you appreciate it. Yeah, no, yeah, thank you. I'm going to get these two girls in the vlog. What were your names? Meryl. Meryl and Janisha. And Janisha. Yeah. Nice to meet you both. If all the places have ever been stopped for a photograph, I think in a brain <laughs> scan, what's it called? The neuro. neuro Centre for Neuroimaging. Centre for Neuro Science. science. Sorry, I've been, in, I've been in the thing for a long time. I never thought I'd bump people to watch my videos, but. Look, I, I was sitting in like the control room and they were going on about like an influencer YouTuber. I was like, what are you on about? And they were all like, so Nisha was gonna come in, like, who? And I was like, Joe Suck. And I'm like, no. And like, they freaked out. They were like, oh my god, you know him. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Job done. Brain is scanned. It's now being sent off to uh, to doctors to have a look at first. Um, just check my brain's actually working right and is all good. Uh, and then uh, they do all their data research on it to find out um, if I'm a, if I'm superhuman or not. But actually, she did say I'm not an anomaly, which is good. I think I'm in the chair. We've got a leather apron. So you know what this means. I'm either one about to get butchered and my organs sold on eBay, or two, I'm getting a haircut. By Johnny Depp. I think they might butcher you now for that. Johnny, there's still makes you laugh. Every time I get a haircut now, it just makes you laugh. <laughs> Johnny Depp stung by a bee. <laughs> yes. Yes, Ooh. I know, I know. You need to lose weight. I'm trying. I'm back in the gym. Yeah? What are you doing in the gym? You have to remember, Joseph, I am uh, old compared to you. You're not. Everyone thinks I'm younger than I am. Guess Kieran, without Googling it, guess Kieran's age in the comments below. Yeah. That'll be interesting. You won't find it if you Google it, I wouldn't have thought. Really? Well, I'm not famous, I'm not you, I don't have a I reckon, you, I, trust me, these people here, I reckon they can, they can find out. <laughs> They'll find out. Yeah, they will. I'm getting a haircut, because I've got a, um, I've got a thing tomorrow. I've gone on a TV show, where really? I've got to sit in a chair for hours upon hours. Okay. So I've got to go with for a, an artistic, an so, artistic look. mohawk, please. <laughs> You have to wait on this camera for the, for the focus to set in a little bit. <laughs> Job done. A lot of people actually in the last vlog as well were all asking, where the hell do you get your hair cut? Because there's a giant, there's an iron giant in the background mm. and a giant dinosaur skull. Well, like where, where are we? Where am I? This is, um, this is the mirror from Harry Potter. There's also a suit of armor on a fighter pilot's chair as well. Well, actually that's a dress. Oh, is it? Yeah, that was a dress that was made for a show. Right. All of these things are actually mini screens. Does it fit? Uh, it would fit you. It would <laughs> fit me, I'm fat. We've established earlier. Good, but it would fit you, no problem. But there you go, this is where I get my hair cut. And what a fabulous job he's done, look at that. I has that on top of a walnut. I do like it. Look at that. So much better, we are just discussing as well my long hair from last year. Um, and Kieran said, look, if you, if you let me cut it, it would have still looked nice, but it did get to a point where the ends got a bit thin 
and I did look a bit feral. It looked nice. It looked nice. I liked for it. For a period of time. There was a, there was a period of time <laughs> where you let it grow yeah. out a little bit too much. Yeah. It's been about two weeks since I had my brain scanned. Um, and I'm about to log on and find out the results from my test. Um, to see, to find out a bit more about my brain. See how it's working. Hopefully everything's good and the information was useful. I like to do this thing where I'm waiting for a call. I will just make stupid noises and say stupid things. It's like it's like a game of chicken. You do weird voices or say funny things and hope that they don't log on at the wrong at the wrong point. Hello! Hello, you know. Just a little game I play with myself to keep things exciting. Hello. 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 Hello, you know. Hello. Hello. So I thought what I could do is I can basically show you like how I I just sent you screenshots, but I can yeah. kind of like move through your brain and look at it different ways. Perfect, okay. So this part here, this kind of big bit is your frontal lobe. Yeah. So this is basically where you do a lot of your thinking. Right. Um, so it's kind of like your problem solving, your judgment. And you can see that they're kind of slightly separated off from each other. Yeah. So then this bit here that's separated down here, um, this is called your temporal lobe. Right. So this does quite a lot of your language processing, um, also kind of musical awareness. There's a bit of memory in there. At the back here, which you can see in this one here, it's like there's quite a big, like, obvious section off. Yeah. That's your um, occipital lobe. So that's basically where you, all your, like, visual processing. So everything you see is processed there. Right. Kind of at the back. Okay. Your cerebellum there, um, it's a lot of your kind of what we call fine motor control so it kind of helps right. with that yeah. um, when you make a movement and then you need to kind of adjust it or yeah. improve it it kind of helps with that learning it looks massive um, compared to the one that in the um the diagram yeah so i was going to say that to you actually so we can look at it from another angle uh you do seem to have quite a large cerebellum <laughs> yeah <laughs> Coordination um, and balance and equilibrium. How did you find like learning to coordinate and dance? And um, I had that? I had zero dance knowledge before taking part in that show, so I picked it yeah. up pretty pretty quick. The the Latin stuff a lot harder, but like the ballroom stuff, like I think it's the same with a lot of stuff. Like even with like Bake Off and stuff, I've never I didn't practice. I never baked before. I just sort of I can follow instructions quite well. So if I'm given instructions, mm. then I I quite enjoy the learning process we do the analysis we match up your structural scans so to the functional so we kind of know where yeah like where things are changing in certain areas of the brain when when you kind of see the results written up like if you look at papers and they'll yeah. have a kind of blob showing okay this bit of the brain activated yeah that's kind of based on like a whole load of statistics and analysis that's happened yeah i mean the next thing will be when i do the analysis like yeah. on the whole kind of groups of people cool. then i can let you know what results i find yeah. it's been great it's like i said it's super fascinating I'm, I'm i'm very um thankful that i got to be part of it um and it's and I sort of experience it all so no thank you very much that was emily who you would have seen earlier on the vlog who was like doing the study and is going to do the study on all these different brains um but yeah, that helped a lot. That helps sort of understand what parts of my brain do what. It's been a long day, I'm back. It's about quarter past 10 at night. It was an early start, it's a late finish tonight and then I've got a few hours sleep. Then I'm up again super, super early tomorrow, even earlier tomorrow actually because I'm getting picked up to go back in London. Um, I'm off to go and do a TV show. I'm really excited for it. It's a show that I've, I'm have i a big fan of and I've wanted to sort of be involved in this show for a long time. Um, so I'm super, super excited. Uh, hence also a big reason why I got the haircut today. Also, when I got back, this cat is was, was still waiting uh, at the front door. Well, it wasn't the front door. Since I put the key in the lock, it almost like hears the sound of the key in the lock and comes sprinting round and then like rubs against my legs it's be like yeah you're home but then starts trying to climb up the front door and try and like scratch at the front door trying to get into our house it's got to the point where it's trying to get into our house <sighs> it ain't coming in i'm sorry i i can't i can't let it in we'd have a cat flap it's not our cat and also i don't want it to think that it lives here because it doesn't 
unless it pays rent. If it pays me rent, then I'll let it stay here. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for, not here, I'm gonna go up to my bedroom to get a bed, not lie on the office floor. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Bit of a random, weird, weird one with the whole brain scan thing. But, and with that, I bid you good night. I can imagine this is what it's like living inside someone's ear. Hello!